You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is taken from the Gospel account of St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Time is flying so fast. The month of June is almost over again. Today, Jesus tells us, when you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think God will hear them because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. It doesn't mean we must let go of our vocal prayers like the novenas we have grown to love as we make petitions, implore God's favors, or obtain graces by honoring Jesus Christ. It does not also mean we must stop spontaneously praying to God. Today's gospel brings home one crucial message about prayer, that prayer is not a magic formula, as one Jesuit puts it, but a trusting relationship between God and me, or God and us. The prayer taught to us by Jesus himself defines that intimate relationship as it moves us closer to God, our Father, who knows fully well what we need before we ask Him. Isn't that consoling? I feel like a real child of God when I pray this, Our Father. Just the first two words, Our Father, Jesus reminds me that God is a Father of us all. We are His children. Thanks to Jesus, who reconciled us to the Father through His sufferings and death. If not for Him, we would have remained distant from Him as in the Old Testament. Now, we can freely and trustingly call God our loving Father. Yes, He is a Father who is very understanding, patient and sensitive to all our needs, and a Father who forgives all our sins, so long as we repent. Then as we say, Thy kingdom come, we invite God our Father to reign in our hearts so that it may be easy to overcome our pride and natural tendencies to sin. We ask God to give us now a compassionate heart and cultivate deep in our hearts the three things that last forever, faith, hope, and love. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.